Hey guys, it's Haley. I am back with another vlog. This one's very exciting because I'm about to drive back home and then I'm going to be flying out with my dad to go to Atlanta where I will be doing my Disney College Character Performer audition. So I got ready to go and I left early from my apartment and then 20 minutes into the drive I realized that I forgot um, my pants that I was going to wear at the audition so I am now turning back around and driving. So I just <laughs> go back to my apartment and grabbed what I've forgotten. So now I am actually on the road. I'm making home ready time to fly out so <laughs> whatever. So I've made it back home. Well I'm almost to my house but I've made it with seven minutes to spare which means I'll probably pull in like three minutes before we need to leave. I actually haven't been back to my house uh, since the end of July. I'm excited to go see my cat for like a minute before I fly out. Meow. Oh my Lucy, oh you miss me? No? Oh. Oh, I'm in the car, my mom is chauffeuring my dad and me to the airport and I think we're gonna make it about an hour early for our flight so freaking pumped. Atlanta, here I come. Hey, we have matching phone cases now. Oh. Hey, my sister's here. Oh, well, I forgot this is for YouTube. Yeah, you weirdo. Remember when you used to make fun of me for vlogging? When did you ever vlog? Hashtag Christmas ham. Hey, okay, Christmas, Christmas ham wasn't a Christmas real ham? vlog. Uh, we were pulling out and Katie was pulling in, and so she hopped in to drive my dad and me to the airport. So we're bowling. We're Boolin. B-O-O-L-I-N-G. It's high school slang. I learned it. So we've hit some traffic. I don't know if you can see who we are. Heading to the airport, which this has never happened. Oh, this is my second vlog. It's like your journey. No, it's like my vlog of the audition. It's so like your journey. Sure. So we're like in traffic, so hopefully we make it... We'll make it, but hopefully we like have enough time. We board at 5:50, so we board in like yeah. It's normally just a 45-minute drive, and we've now been in the car for an hour and a half. We have. Yep. So hopefully we. Hopefully. And it sounds like the flight is on time, so hopefully we make it. We're finally to the airport. I think we might make it. Because oh, yeah. mom, your your clock is seven minutes early, so yes. it's only 5:30. Yeah. And We're so, yeah, I know. I forgot about that till now. But my dad and I have 20 minutes to get through security, and then before they start boarding, we're in group B, so we probably will be perfectly fine. Oh, Are you laughing at me because I'm vlogging? I know. I'm pretty freaking awesome, but. So status update, we made it to the airport. Um, and we're like, it's three minutes till we're supposed to start boarding, we still haven't, so I guess we're good. on the rental so we're finally leaving the airport i don't think he wants to be filmed so i won't show no me. <laughs> but we're driving to i think get food first maybe i don't know and then go into the hotel or something but yep time for bed see you in the morning good morning vlog i just woke up i'm in my hotel in atlanta um it is 8 a.m here and i and i am in a time change so it feels about like 7 a.m but I'm about to put some makeup on and get ready. I've decided I think I'm gonna do my natural hair. I was going to straighten it, but it's looking pretty fun. So, kind of a wavy vibe. So I was like, I'll go with it. I'm about to go ahead to my audition. It is 9.27 and they say don't show up before 9.30. Um, my my girl Natalie, my roommate, she um was at the auditions in Dallas last weekend and she told me that she showed up about 9 15 um and it didn't really make a difference if she had shown up later so i'm just gonna show up like at 9 35 um 
and then we'll see what happens. I'm gonna see if I can do any vlogging when I get there. I'm at the audition, and here's some people that I met. Say hi. 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 They're so cute. So I finished with my audition, and I will go into details about that later, but now we're just on the plane. We moved up our flights because the other flights were delayed, and now the flight we're on is at a stop, so it looks like that's delayed. We might not make our connection, but whatever. It's been a whirlwind. Um, a lot of stuff happened, but we I went through, I got through the audition, um, and I will go into details later. So, as far as like the whole Disney college audition went, I went in Atlanta, as you guys all knew, as you, you saw. Um, and so what happened for me was I went in, I signed in, and I actually sat in a room with a couple of girls, and we all started talking, and we were the last group that was going to audition. So they broke it up in three different groups. And then once we went to go, we did a super, super easy basic kind of walk forward kind of thing. If you're not a dancer, it might be a little bit difficult, but it's not too terribly hard. I am a dancer, so it wasn't really too difficult for me. And so from what I noticed in that section of the, like that's the birth, really the first big cut that they make. Um, the majority of the cuts that happen is that first cut. Uh, and I'm not gonna give away too many details because I did ask that you just don't say too, too much about it because you don't want to give away too much of the magic. But in that first round, really what they're looking for, I don't think, is like getting the steps perfect. It's coordination and can you, like, do you have like some sort of a fun personality that you're selling to them? Because I think ultimately in that first round, what they want to see is you. They want to see you selling yourself uh, because nobody else there is you. And so if you are what they're looking for, then they'll keep you. Because I do think that that first cut comes from who are we looking for? Can they, are they coordinated and are they selling some sort of like personality that we want. And so I was lucky enough to make it through that first cut. My roommate didn't, uh, and, I, and she's also a dancer. And so I don't think it really has anything to do with if you are best, the best dancer or not. It's really what they are specifically looking for and they're gonna know in that first round. So, and that's why I really do appreciate about them is that they'll know in that first round if you're what they're looking for or not. So you're, they're not gonna waste your time and I appreciate that. So then what we did, was we were all brought into a room and we filled out some paperwork and then they measured us for our height. Uh, they said my height and it was exactly what I thought it was. Some people say that they measure differently at Disney. Um, they measured exactly how I thought I was gonna measure. Um, and then after that, oh, they did the animation thing, which if you've watched any other DCP audition videos, they talk about it. It's basically they like give you a situation that you basically animate. So it's kind of a pantomiming sort of activity where you can't use any words or sounds. It's all your body and your facial expressions. And something that I learned from that while watching other people, because we got the opportunity to watch some other people before we like actually did our full audition. And so when I watched some people, I noticed that something that really sold was facials. If you really just like engage your face along with your body, that went so far. Uh, and then we learned to dance and that was a little bit tricky, but they taught it slow enough that I feel like for people who aren't dancers, they had the opportunity to pick it up. And I picked it up pretty quick. People who weren't dancers, they were picking it up and I, a lot of people, and even the people who weren't dancers, I saw a lot of people have great success and get to stay through the next round afterwards even though they weren't dancers because they're not necessarily only looking for dancers and so we learned that dance that took about an hour to learn so then they broke us up into groups of five i believe and we each went in in our groups of five and we did uh we did the dance twice switch lines and then we did the animation or vice versa i Whatever, I don't remember. And so then what they would do in there, they would ask for more people to stay. And what they told us was in that round that if you're not asked to stay, that doesn't mean that you're out necessarily. Um, it just means that the people that they're asking to stay, they're looking for maybe parade dancers or face performers. So they say that you're still necessarily in consideration. I'm not really sure if I am or not. Uh, maybe maybe I'll get it, I don't know. I, I felt like I had a really great positive experience though. I feel like I learned a lot. They would send out their first wave of acceptances and denials or no longer in considerations today. And I didn't hit the wave, so I'm possibly still in consideration or not, I don't know. My last name is at the end of the alphabet and it looks like they went alphabetically, so I have no idea how they're doing it. But a girl that I met there actually got it and she was super sweet and super cute, so I'm really excited for her. Um, so I have no idea if I got it. Like I said, I am already in attractions which was my first choice and so if I don't get it I'm really not gonna be that disappointed I'm not holding my breath because I was cut so 
you never know. You really never know. But it was an amazing positive experience. Every single one of the uh, casting directors and the choreographers that were there were so, so kind. I've, I do auditions all the time. My major is musical theater, so that's what I do. And I've really never met such kind people. And it was such a positive experience. And I think they did such a great job of making people who aren't used to auditions welcome. So if you guys go into audition for Disney College and you want to do it, just because you don't have experience does not mean you're not gonna like do great because I really do think that they make it such a positive experience for people that if you don't have great ex if you don't have a lot of experience you can still have a great outcome. Well, even if I don't get it, I am happy with what I put out there and I'm still just honored to get to go to the Disney College program. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I will be making more content soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for visiting my channel.